This is the unboxing of the new Moto G4. Um, gone for the white version this time. I always buy black phones, uh, so I decided to have a change this time and go for the uh, go for the white number. Uh, previously, I've had the Moto G1. Uh, I missed the G2, but I've now got the G3 at the moment, and I thought I'd try out the new G4. I've just bought this from. Um, John Lewis and picked it up at Waitrose. John Lewis give you a two year um, guarantee. So here we are unboxing it. Phone's right on the top of the box as soon as you open it up. And here we have the 4G in white, white front, white back, with the normal kind of sticker on the front showing you what's what. Let's put that to one side for the moment. We'll compare that with the size of the 3 in a second. So is there anything on this card? No, it just basically tells you where to put your SIM and your Nano and your micro SIM and your micro SD card. It's just nothing in this piece of card at all. And we've got a charger, fixed charger, doesn't come out, it's not USB on the other end, unless it converts into USB. Let's have a quick look. Bit of a shame if it doesn't because it's nice to have the USB connector so you can plug it into your computer if you need to sometimes get photos off or do something like that. So, no, it's not, it's just a straight charger. And we've then got a little README article about taking the back off and putting the SIM cards in, and a little bit about the phone, but not a lot, and then a single kind of regulatory uh, warranty guarantee. So, let's just have a quick look. This is my three, which I've got in a case. I'm just going to take out the case. I've got a screen protector on it, so I always put one of those on when I first get it. So there's the three, and there's the four. I mean, you can see from the th from the thickness, the depth of the phone, that the four is definitely thinner than the uh, the three. It's the three sitting quite proud, quite high up there. So what else do we know? Well, let's put them on top of each other, shall we? And just have a look at some sizes. So yeah, we've got a little bit wider, a little bit taller. Soon these things won't fit in your jeans pocket, really. But um, but yeah, it's a little bit bigger screen. Obviously, we're going from the 5 to the 5.5 inch, which is probably as big as you'd ever want, really. I don't think you want, want it much bigger. So just to show you the... Um, the different sizes on here between the two. The height is a lot thinner on the new one. If you stack them sort of on top of each other and put them in there, put them like that, you can actually see how much kind of difference it is. Slightly taller and slightly wider as well. So here's the charger that comes with it. It's not USB or anything. You can't take it, you can't pull it out or take it off do anything with it it's just the charger only on this version so you if you want to connect it to the computer you're going to have to have a separate lead or you, you might already have one or keep your old one that's just one thing to remember let's just turn it on same camera I've not gone for the plus version I've just gone for the the standard version I've got eight uh, Eight cores on this, obviously 4G, 1080p now on the screen, and dual SIM cards. It says SIM times two, so that's one great thing. You can put in two SIM cards now. Apparently not on all of them, so you've got to make sure um, yours can take two SIM cards if you want it to. Um, this is the white one from John Lewis, so I can confirm that it does actually uh, have two SIM cards. Um, there should be a link in the description of the video if you want to uh, click on that, which will take you straight to the John Lewis um, sales page for that Moto G4. I'm going to have to take this front cover off because it's, um, it's difficult to see the screen with it on, to be honest. Here we go. 
and once you're setting it up you can quite easily move once you first turn on your G4 it'll ask you uh, if you've got another Google phone that you want to move from uh, if you go into your normal settings and then choose Google and then set up um, a new device it will then take you through and allow you to copy all your settings across uh, it will just verify a, uh, a randomized code between the two then you're kind of all ready to go